just <laughs> it's sad but i know like it helps in the end but oh <laughs> This is terrifying, but it's also so epic. Oh my gosh. Hello friends. In this video, I will be reacting to Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I know there is quite a few of you who have been waiting for this reaction. I've gotten so many comments asking when am I going to react to this movie? And the answer is right now. Right now, I'm going to see what this movie is all about and what all of the hype is about. So without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm so used to how the other Star Wars movies start that this is already different. This is already different. <laughs> this is apparently post Empire. So Vader and Palpatine, mostly Palpatine, have been having their way. So it's Lyra. It's happened. He's come for us. You know what to do. Who, who's come for you? So not only is somebody coming for them, they were expecting it, but who is it? I love you, Stardust. I love you too, Papa. Oh, so he's not running, he's going out to meet them? Oh, is she going back? Oh, she's going back. You're a hard man to find, Galen. But farming. Really? Man of your talents? Okay, so they want him to do something for them. Since Leo died, yes. Oh. Oh. Sir, you do not care. My condolences. Uh, I do not believe those condolences. We were this close to providing peace and security for the galaxy. You're confusing peace with terror. Yeah, I think you are. You have to start somewhere. Ooh. Wow. I mean, I know the people who really think like this, but still, wow. Oh, look, here's Lyra back from the dead. <gasps> no. You're not taking him. No, of course I'm not. I'm taking you all. As hostages. As heroes mm. of the Empire. So hostages. Put it down. I don't see this going well. I don't see this going well at all. You will never win. Do it. <laughs> no. They have a child. Find it. Find it. Well, I guess you don't know if it's a girl or not, but still. I, mm. I really wasn't expecting her mom to go back and do that, but now she's gone. Oh, that's who her mom was talking to earlier. Go. We have a long ride ahead of us. So they killed her mom, but they basically took her dad hostage in order for him to do something for them. Cellmate. So is she imprisoned? She is in prison. I was about to leave. I came as fast as I could. Easy. You have news from Jedha. Come on. Whatever's going on, it is. Imperial pilot. Critically serious. One of the cargo drivers he defected yesterday. He's telling people they're making a weapon. Wait, is it? Is it what I think it is? A planet killer. It is. We it. it is. It is. What's all this? Come on, let's see some scan docs. <laughs> No! What have you done? Yo, he did what he had to do. Calm down. We'll be alright. Huh? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Y'all, wait. I can't go past that moment that quickly. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna wait, but what? What did I do? Know? 
So our main character, who, whose name I have forgotten if it was said, her dad, they wanted him so he could build the Death Star. I need to speak to Sukarera. I keep telling them before it's, before it's too late. What part of urgent message do you guys not understand? <laughs> One thing I'm definitely getting from this movie. Oh, that is a very odd mountain. One thing I'm definitely getting from this movie is a constant sense of urgency. That has been every single scene, which it makes sense because if this is about the Death Star being built, then yeah, there's definitely some urgency. Ooh. Oh, wow. Uh... Uh, you wanna get out of here? Everybody is fighting everybody. I don't know who's on what side. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Oh my gosh. You are being rescued. Please do not resist. Who are y'all? I was thinking like maybe they're the rebels who Leia was working with, but I was getting confused because everybody is punching everybody. Jin Urso, daughter of Galen Urso, a known Imperial collaborator in weapons development. Okay, so he's with the rebels too. What is this? It's a chance for you to make a fresh start. We think you might be able to help us. Oh, is it supposed to be the same? She's playing the same character as was in, what, what episode was that, five or six? I can't remember. So Guerrero saved my life. He raised me, but I've no idea where he is. I haven't seen him in years. You're all rebels, aren't you? Yes, but Saul Guerrero is an extremist. What does this have to do with my father? What does it tell us, tell us? Factory Jedi, a pilot. He's claiming the Emperor is creating a weapon with the power to destroy entire planets. Mm -hmm. Pilot says he was sent by your father. Oh. We need to stop this weapon. Before so her father, even though he's making it, is actively trying to stop it. Oh. Oh, this is making me feel things, y'all. This is making me feel things. But also it's sad thinking that his planet is the first planet, and I guess the only planet that the Death Star is used on. Captain Andor. I also kind of like that this movie gives, I don't know, depth and complexity to the Rebel Alliance. Like, obviously, they had to fight long and hard to get the freedom they eventually got from the Empire. Gunan Urso is vital to the Empire's weapons program. Forget what you heard in there. There will be no extraction. You mm -hmm. find him, you kill him. Ooh. I mean, it makes sense they wouldn't want her to know that, but I think this is going to complicate things. I really do. Product of their reprogram. Why does she get a blaster and I don't? What? I know how to use it. That's what I'm afraid of. Give it to me. Oh, I guess she isn't supposed to have it either. Where'd you get it? I found it. <laughs> I find that answer vague and unconvincing. Trust goes both ways. You're letting her keep it. Would you like to know the probability of her using it against you? <laughs> no. It's high. <laughs> it's very high. <laughs> you didn't capture me. I came in myself. I defected. I defected. Every day, more lies. They did say he was an extremist. Really, we're a lie. I, no, we don't have time for this. I have to speak to Saul Guerrero before it's too late. And there you go. There he is. Uh, uh, as for you, and I gave it to them. They did not find it. Caitlin okay, Esso, he told me to find you. Oh, obviously, a lot has happened since we last saw him. Poor Gullet. Poor Gullet. What is what? I mean, obviously, Saw is not very trusting. I do not blame him because look at the time he's living in. But oh my gosh! Most unfortunate about the security breach on Jeddah, Director Krennic. After so many setbacks and delays, and now this. We've heard word of rumors circulating through the city. Oh, technology. The way technology works to be able to bring people back is kind of like interesting, but also kind of creepy. But I think it would be hard to tell the story without his character. You have made time an ally of the rebellion. I suggest we solve both problems simultaneously with an immediate test of the weapon. Oh. Failure will find you explaining why to a far less patient audience. I will not fail. I hope you do. I mean, you will because we know that Death Star blows up and, and Tarkin goes with it. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't like it. Don't like it.
like the insanity you have to have to even think of something like this. What's the matter, Jim? You look frightened. Oh, this is before he left. I was thinking like maybe he was part of it before she was born, but that means that there wasn't that much time between, I don't know, him being there and him leaving and then finding him again. Oh my gosh. There's something about that that's just so, I don't know, imposing. What are they bringing in? What are they taking out? What, what is it? What is it? Cyber crystal. All they can get. We wondered why they oh, were stripping yeah. the temple. Now we know. Yeah, they did say they needed that for the Death Star. Stay with the ship. I can blend in. I'm an Imperial droid. I'm surprised you're so concerned with my safety. I'm not. I'm just worried they might miss you. And hit me. Dang. <laughs> This way, way, way. Poor Gullet can feel your thoughts. I don't like this. Uh uh. Uh uh. No lie is safe. So, you don't just got some truth serum or something? Oh my goodness. Have you really brought me cargo pilot? Uh uh. Uh uh. Gullet. We'll know the truth. The unfortunate side effect is that one tends to lose one's mind. No. Oh, no. No. Come on now. So you can Come on now. Oh, my gosh. Hey, you just got yourself. No. Uh, isn't that the same one that Obi-Wan, yeah, ends up saying zoop, zoop, zip it is up? I had a contact. One of Saw's rabbits. His sister will be looking for him. We'll give her your name and hope that gets us a meeting with Saul. Hope. Rebellions are built on hope. I mean, this is this is true. Why well, fight? There's nothing to fight for. May the force of others be with you. Trade that necklace for a glimpse into your future. May the force of others be with you? I definitely haven't heard it said like that. Oh, he was talking to her. Oh. What do you know about Kyber Crystals? My father, he, he said they powered the Jedi's lightsabers. So they're using those to power the Death Star? The strongest stars have hearts of Kaiba. Like a Death Star. You, you seem all for the tense all of a sudden. We have to hurry. This town is ready to blow. What? <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't want to be there either. It's a little bit, a little bit too much attention from the Empire there. Are we about to see a rebellion happen? That's what he meant is about to blow. The people are sick of this. Yeah, okay. This is intense. It really truly is. I didn't think this was going to be an easy trip, but oof. Did you know that wasn't me? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Thought I told you to stay on the ship. There are a lot of explosions for two people blending in. Freeze, right there. Ooh. You're right. I should just wait on the ship. No, he definitely was a help just then. Especially since, he, since he's an Imperial droid. They had no clue. I am taking them to imprison them in prison. He's okay. Quiet! <laughs> and there's a fresh one. He is metal. That has to hurt so much. Take them away. Wait, he's you can't take them away. You, stay here. We need to check your diagnostics. Ooh. Diagnostics? Definitely not. Let them pass in peace. The force is with me, and I am with the force. And I fear nothing. Is he like a former Jedi or something? Hey, stop right there. He's blind. Is he deaf? But he, he's got the force, so he, he got a lot more than y'all think. Oh, oh dang. Oh. 
Whooping them. Ooh. Most like these. It's good to have a friend with a gun. It just is. See a Jedi? There are no Jedi here anymore. The Force did protect me. I protected you. I mean, the Force got him pretty far, though. Anyone who kills me and my friends will answer to Saw Guerrera because I'm the daughter of Galen Erso. Macho! Chato! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm <laughs> blind! <laughs> Is it really you? The last time I saw you, you gave me a knife and loaded blaster and told me to wait in a bunker till daylight. So you just abandoned her. I was 16! I was protecting you! You dumped me! You were the daughter of an Imperial science officer. People were starting to figure that out. People who wanted to, to use you as a hostage. Oh, okay. So he was trying to protect her. You cannot about the cause the cause all it's ever brought me is pain you can kind of see that you can stand to see the imperial flag rain across the galaxy it's not a problem if you don't look up oh wow i don't completely blame her i mean obviously the empire sucks but i can't completely blame a person who wants to protect their, themselves in their own interests all imperial forces have been evacuated and i stand ready to destroy the entire moon the holy city will be enough for today Target Jetta City. Prepare single reactor ignition. Oh, they, oh, what? Mm, eh. Like our main characters are on this planet. This can't go down yet. An imperial pilot. I'm gonna know. kill him. No, 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 wait for me. No. Okay. okay. Oh, he did pilot. say side effect is losing your mind. Did he lose his mind? Brought the message, I'm the pilot. Is he getting his wits about him again? I'm the pilot. Okay, good. Now where is Galen Herzog? Where are you? Because he is not all there yet. Though I don't dare hope for too much, a chance for Jen, if she's alive. My love for her has never faded. And how desperately I've missed her. Mm. But y'all don't know, they have literally, they have the Death Star pointed right at them. I made myself indispensable and all the mm. while, I laid the groundwork for my revenge. Oh? We call it the Death Star. I've placed a weakness deep within the system. A flaw so small and powerful they will never find it. Okay. Which is the flaw we hear about in episode four. I try to think of you only in the moments when I'm strong because the pain of not having you with me. Oh. The pain of that loss is so overwhelming I risk failing even now. Think of where you are. Mm. We start us. Oh, it's like blacking out. Oh. The reactor module, that's the key. One blast to any part of it will destroy the entire station. You'll need the plans. It's already started. Start to find the reactor. Wait. I know there's a complete engineering archive in the data vault at the Citadel Tower. Wait, they actually took the shot. It's so weird seeing the Death Star from this point of view. It's also terrifying. Oh my gosh. Ketu, Ketu, where are you? There you are. I'm standing by as you requested, although there's a problem on the horizon. I mean, he said it was about to blow and I know that he was talking about the rebels then, but like, it's actually about to blow. Get the pilot. We need him. All right. I'll get the pilot. Ooh, what are you going to do to the pilot? Gotta go. I know where your father is. Go with him, Jim. Yes, yeah, because everybody here is going to die. Everybody. Come on, but you must save yourself. Save the rebellion. Save the dream. It's also interesting because in episode four, it was like, take the shot, the whole planet explodes. But this is like, this is a gradual destroying. And again, terrifying. Like literally seeing the oh, world end. Beautiful. How dare you? Well, from that point of view, when you're not in danger, when you completely ignore the fact there are literal lives down there. Oh, this is going to be a close call. So close. I'm not very optimistic about our odds. That's not okay. Exactly. Because the odds of just staying there trying to figure out whether or not it's going to work is much worse. Oh, 
he just took his oxygen out. Ah. Uh. Oh my goodness. Come on! I know she isn't fighting with the rebellion or for the rebellion right now. See my calculations. I'll make them for you. Like seeing a world being destroyed while you're still on it, I, I, that would do something to me at least. Your work exceeds all expectations. I will tell him that I will be taking control over the weapon I first spoke of years ago, effective immediately. We stand here amidst my achievement, not yours! Don't worry, he gonna die on it. He gonna die on your achievement. Chris as a military director. The breaches have been filled. The pilot acted alone. He was dispatched from the installation on Edo, Galen Urso's facility. So they're gonna start putting it together that her dad turned on them. A coded message from Captain Andor, sir. Weapon confirmed. Jeddah destroyed. Destroyed? Like destroyed, like gone, gone. We have no idea what he's building for the Empire. We have to kill Galen or so while we have the chance. I don't know, because if the Empire gets to him first, they might do it. They call it the Death Star. They have no idea. There's a way to defeat it. My father made a choice. He sacrificed himself for the rebellion. And by doing that, he was able to make a weakness. Side it. That's why he sent you, to bring that message. Where is it? Where is the message? Oh, he got destroyed. The reactor. He's placed a weakness there. He's been hiding it for years. He said, if you can blow the reactor, the module, the whole system goes down. Which is true. They have to know there's a way to destroy this thing. They have to go to Scarif to get the plans. So basically, this story is how we're going to see how the message eventually gets to Leia. Because they did say in episode four that there were rebels who laid down their lives to get their hands on those plans. What's the right? oh. There's a 26% chance of failure. How much further? We don't need to know this. Like Han said, we don't need to know the odds. Don't tell us the odds. I don't, don't want to know. Thank you. I understand. <laughs> The wind! If you keep going, you'll be right over the shuttle depot! Watch out! Hey. Ooh. Hold on tight! We're coming oh, down no. hard! You most definitely are. Ooh. Are they gonna be able to get out of there? I'm coming with you. No, your father's message. We can't risk it. You're the messenger. That's ridiculous. We all got the message. Everyone here knows it. But they don't want her to know that the orders are to kill her dad. Pull up the rice and see what's what. Let's get out of here. Does he look like a killer? No. He has mm. the face of a friend. I was wondering if he sensed something. The force moves darkly near a creature that's about to kill. His weapon was in the sniper configuration. Basically letting her know that they're going to kill your dad. Oh, that's a big nope. That's a big absolutely not. That's him, Galen, in the dark suit. You said we came up here just to have a look. I'm here. I'm looking. Go. Uh, he's going to do a little bit more than look. Excellent news, Galen. The battle station is complete. Gather your engineers. I have an announcement. I mean, this, uh, whatever this announcement is going to be, it's not going to be good. Um... That all of them? Yes. Is he going to kill these people? Gentlemen, one of you betrayed the Empire. He is, he is. One of you has conspired with a pilot to send messages to the Rebellion. He must be doing this in front of him for a reason. Aim and fire! Stop! Stop! Credit! Stop! It was me! That's why he did that. Oh, is he having some second thoughts? Fire! Ooh. Of course. It's the Empire. Why would I? I shouldn't be surprised. Get the squadron leader on. Get him on now. They're already engaged, so. Oh, oh so something's about to go down. Get out, fighters in the air, now! Goodness. How is she getting out of this? Because, um... Ah! Oof. Oh, Oh, they're definitely going to take her. Peace. 
said he was one with the force and the force was with them and that is very much so I thought they were going to take Jen, but I guess not. Wait, is he dead? Is he dead? <laughs> there is not one Star Wars movie where my fear of heights has not been activated in some way. Jim. Oh. The hologram. I've seen it. It must be destroyed. We will. She just saw him and he's about to die. Oh. Uh, uh. He won't get a chance to. Oh. No. Papa, come on. Listen. He's gone. I mean, that's her dad and she hadn't seen him in so long. And when she does see him, it's to watch him die. Oh. I would expect she would have some words for him, especially knowing that he was going to kill her dad and that is not what he told her. You went up there to kill my father. You don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you did. He, he, he stopped himself. I had orders. Orders that I disobeyed. When you know they're wrong, you might as well be a stormtrooper. Ooh. You can't talk your way around this. I don't have to. Oof, the tension in that scene. And again, this movie just adds, I don't know, this grittiness, this reality to this fight against the Empire. Because in the original movies, it felt very much like heroes versus villains. But now you kind of see the people that were affected by this fight on both sides. And that's really interesting to me. My Lord, Director Credic has arrived. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, it. Yeah. Mm. We all know who was as soon as you hear the breathing. Oh. A meeting you do not want to go to. Nah. -uh. Lord Vader. Mm. You seem unsettled. No. I would be. I delivered the weapon the Emperor requested. I deserve an audience to make certain that he understands. It's remarkable. Don't play with him. Because he was choking folks out before he uh before he met Luke, so don't play with him. You'll speak to the Emperor about <laughs> You got a little bit too comfortable. Mm. <laughs> Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, Director. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Nah, nah. One thing you don't do is get comfortable around him. Death Star, this is nonsense. What reason would my father have to lie? What benefit would it bring him? To lure our forces into a final battle to destroy us once and for all. Oh, so they don't even believe it. If the Empire has this kind of power, what chance do we have? What chance do we have? The question is what choice? Run! Ooh. I mean, is she wrong? No. You give way to an enemy this evil with this much power, and you condemn the galaxy to an eternity of submission. The time to fight is now! Yes. No, she's not gonna let her dead die in vain. You're asking us to invade an Imperial installation based on nothing but hope. Rebellions are built on hope. And that's what Cassian said, and it's true. I'm sorry, Jim. Without the full support of the council, the odds are too great. So they're gonna have to do something to convince them. I'd like to volunteer. I've all done terrible things on behalf of the rebellion. And every time I walked away from something I wanted to forget, I told myself it was for a cause that I believed in. Mm, again, this makes it so much deeper. Everything we've done would have been for nothing. I couldn't face myself if I gave up now. I'll be there for you. Oh. Cassian said I had to. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Take my arms back. That's an impounded Imperial ship. What's your call sign, pilot? Um, Rogue? Oh. Rogue One. 
This is where we get the title front from. Oh. Well, there, there is now. Now. There is now. Oh, there is. Pulling away. Pulling away. I mean, it, to complete this mission, they are basically going rogue. Your friend. The Jedi. No, Obi-Wan. Well, during the Clone Wars. And has lived in hiding since the Emperor's Purge. Yes, I will send for him. You will need someone you can trust. I would trust her with my life. And we know what's gonna happen. He's gonna go back. That's the last time we are seeing him, I'm guessing. That's the Citadel Tower. They keep all the Imperial structural archives up there. If the plans are anywhere, they'll be there. Okay, so that's where they're getting... Ah, okay. They have no idea we're coming. If we can make it to the ground, we'll take the next chance. And the next. On and on until we win, or the chances are spent. They did say during the council meeting that this is basically a suicide mission. Light the place up. Make ten men feel like a hundred. Keep the engine running. You're our only way out of here. We'll see how many people get out because this sounds like one of those, I don't know. You'd be lucky to come back with half of the people that you left with or came with. Director Krennic, we are entering the Scarab Shield Gate. Is he going down there too? Okay. I mean, there's definitely one way to get through the front door. I've got a bad feeling about it. Hey. Quiet. <laughs> I mean, me too. <clears throat> Y'all was just chilling. Y'all don't even know. I want every dispatch, every transmission he has ever sent called up for inspection. Okay, so that's why he's there. Dang. Are we blind? Deploy the garrison! No! Y'all definitely were just standing around doing nothing. Sir, Scarif Base, they're reporting a rebel incursion. I want to speak with Director Krennic. He's there, sir. On Scarif. Prepare for the jump to hyperspace and inform Lord Vader. Wait, are they gonna are they gonna blow up the planet? Because because Tarkin has already made it clear that he wants to take over the Death Star, and of course, knowing Episode Four, he does. Intercepted Imperial transmission, Mom. Rebels on Scarif. I need to speak with Admiral Radis. He's returned to his ship. He's going to fight. Mm. All flight personnel, please report to your commanders immediately. Oh, so they're going now. I guess they said since these rebels are giving their all, they're gonna go in there to help out. Ooh, ooh, nope, 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 don't like that, don't like that. Hey, what? Run! Mm -hmm. Run, run. Mm. Oh my gosh. Ooh. This is Admiral Redis of the Rebel Alliance. Blue Squadron, get to the surface before they close that gate. Copy you, Admiral. Blue Squadron, on me. Go, 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 go. They've locked down the base. They've closed the shield gate. What does that mean? Does that mean they can't get off the planet? It does. It does mean that. Enemy, the Rebel fleet is up there. You gotta tell them to blow a hole in the shield gate so we can transmit the plans. Oh. We're not, we're not tied in. It's the only way we're getting them out of here. Find a way. Cover our backs. This is feeling more and more like a suicide mission. More and more. Oh goodness. This is definitely a bigger fight than I thought it was going to be. Ooh. I don't think that did much. It didn't. It did it. Oh. No. It Did only two get through? Oh no, more than two got through. Keep trying. Engage those star destroyers and let's start probing that shield. Yes, sir. So he's the character in episode four who, when they had that, what, meeting, who said that people risked their lives in order to get those plans to them. <laughs> oh, and now they have a problem. The rebels, they went over there. What's going on out there? Oh, well. <laughs> it blew his cover accidentally. Oh, boy. Sir, 
Enemy fighters coming in. And a lot of them. Master switch, describe. What are we looking for? What does exactly. it look like? The master switch. Where is it? These are good questions. Because I wouldn't know what to look for either. Project code names. Stellar Sphere. Mark Omega. Pax Aurora. <sighs> oh, the cord isn't long enough? Saber. What? Stardust. Oh, because that's what he used to call her. I can ah! They came just in time. Hey, we need to fight for Stardust. I don't know how much longer Stardust. can Kay take this. <laughs> oh, but at least they have it. I don't think Kay is gonna make it much longer. Oh no. Kay. Time. If they open the shield gate, you can broadcast from the tower. Oh. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. I didn't think I'd feel sad over a droid dying, but I am. Oh. Okay. Oh. Sir, unauthorized access at the data vault. Eh? It's just come in, sir. All of this is blowing up in his face, like literally and figuratively. No. Get that beach under control. They, they are not. I feel like this man is going to die on this planet. Step back. Long way down. It's a long way down. Mm -mm. Nope, nope. Even bigger nope. I'm hiding in my ear. I just need an open line. The master switch. It's out there, that console. Oh my gosh, it's like in the middle of everything. I got it! You okay? Ooh, that would have been unfortunate to drop that. So unfortunate. <laughs> I'm one with the force, the force is with me. Oh, so he's going to go do it. One with the force, the force is with me. Zero, one with the come back! One with the force. Mm. Get going! Get going! Go, go, go. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Zero. Don't go. Don't go. Oh no. You will always find me. No. Oh. with me. And I'm one with the force. Oh, wow. This is Admiral Radis, Rogue One. We hear you. Found the Death Star plans. They have to transmit them from their communications tower. You have to take down the shield gate. It's the only way they're going to get them through. Please do. Please. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh. With me. I'm with the force. Everybody's gonna die. Everybody's gonna die, aren't they? This is this is definitely that type of story. Oh my goodness. My goodness, y'all. Oh, you gotta be careful going through something like that. Oh, goodness. Reset antenna alignment. Oh, of course there's an issue. Of course there is. Reset antenna alignment. So she has to like literally go and reset it manually. And of course, he is hot on the trail. He needs to go. I know he will because his character obviously isn't in episode four. It couldn't be. So he feels very done. Antenna aligned. Ready to transmit. Ooh, ooh, go, 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 go. Of 
course. Knew he was around the corner. Knew it. My father's revenge. He put a fuse in the middle of your machine, and I've just told the entire galaxy how to light it. Your signal will never reach the rebel base. Of course, of course. Oh, and this is going to be enough to destroy that shield. I mean, I knew they were going to do it because obviously it has to happen, but oh, uh, the sacrifice though. Uh, we're detecting a massive object emerging from hyperspace. Is it a Death Star? Is it? It is. It is. Target the base at Scarif. Single reactor ignition. Yes, sir. Mm. If they're targeting the base and they have no way of getting off. Ah. Uh. He knows. He knows what that means. When ready. Vadership. Ah. Oh. Your father would have been proud of you, Jen. Mm-hmm. Oh goodness. Ah. The rebel flagship is disabled, my lord, but has received transmissions from the surface. Prepare a boarding party. Okay, and this is basically where episode four starts then. It's sad, but I know, like, it helps in the end, but, oh. Let's go! We gotta go down! Oh, oh. It's Vader. It's Vader. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh! That was epic, though. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is terrifying, but it's also so epic. Oh my gosh. Oh. That was terrifying, but so cool. Oh, your highness. Oh, is it they've sent us? Help. But oh, it's still kind of weirded out, but it's also kind of cool. Y'all, I oh, okay, okay, all right. I'm feeling a lot of things, but i'm feeling so many things like oh my gosh like that was oh my gosh it makes me want to go back and watch episode four from the beginning all over again for a prequel at least a prequel to episode four that was that was quite the prequel i think rogue one takes the originals which i really really do enjoy i do still think it adds that reality of this is what it's like to rebel against a corrupted government it's not just heroes and villains there are real people laying down their lives and yes we see them in the originals but because we get to know some of these people more on a personal level in this movie it added so much more weight and then losing all of them at the end then making the ultimate sacrifice oh it hurt my heart but then at the end we see our ai cgi leia and it gives hope and we know that episode four is called a new hope i don't know i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed this movie more than i was expecting to but thank you guys so much for watching if you want to know when i post my next reaction on this channel please subscribe please like this video if you enjoyed it and friends i will see you in my next video